Hello my pretties, this be Tim Michael with TimMichaelLoss.com. Now I'm going to be showing you today how to mess with logos. And of course you love my voice, don't you? Yes you do. Now I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off now because, yeah, that will get annoying fast. So today guys, thank you for being patient with me. We've had a lot going on here in Legacy Studio and it's time now to get to another tutorial. While I work on this piece for a client, may as well kill two birds with one stone, right? So here's what we're going to do. Right here is the logo for these guys. I did not draw it, um, but I, working in radio, I know that these guys would really appreciate having this logo on their shirts. I used to work in radio. I used to be a radio uh, personality named Timothy Lee Michael, and that, Michaels, Timothy Lee Michaels, with the S on the end, plural, and uh, loved it. But I uh, wanted to do some other things with my life, and so I took off. Anyway. Um, this logo, I want to take it and I want to put it on their shirts. Um, so what I need to do first is I need to go in here and pull the white off the back of this uh, piece here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making a new layer, going into the old layer. There we go. I turned off the lock on it because that's the background. I'm going to grab my, um, my uh, magic wand. I select the white background and delete it. All right, so now that the white background is almost deleted, I'm just going to look through here and see if I can find any more white backgrounds. I don't see any more. Okay, so let's go. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Attention to detail. Very important. Make sure you do attention to detail. There we go. So hopefully that's it. Let's go ahead and copy this logo now. Just like so. And we're going to say edit, copy merged. Now we'll go over into our uh, piece here and paste it in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some special tools that are going to help warp and distort it so it looks like it's sitting on their shirts. Now, I haven't shaded the shirts yet, so it might not show it too well, but the basic idea, the basic principle is behind this, and you guys can mess with it on your own when you want, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here. I've already made a group here called Logos to make groups. You just hit this button right here, and uh, it'll bring in a folder. And so in that group, it just helps me keep things sorted, and sometimes I can use that for masking. Um, I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to go ahead and say edit and paste. And here's the logo. Oops, looks like I did miss a couple little spots of white. That attention to detail is very important. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's zoom in here and see what needs to be removed. Okay, let me go over here then. I'm not going to be able to remove it all, but I can remove a bunch of it. So let's go ahead and go in here and select some more of these little areas. There we go. And delete those. Now I think it said that there was something on the A. Boom. That A. That A. We'll delete those. Oh, 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 oh. What else? That V probably. Yeah, it looks like something. Anything above it? Ah, I thought you could hide from me, did you? Alright, obviously I'm not going to be able to get all this, sadly, but I can get a bit of it. And of course I'm wasting perfectly good time trying to rid of this stuff so that I can... Ah, good. Good. Delete. Yeah, I think you can hide from me, huh, punk? Yeah, punk? Huh? Punk. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a little bit of this in his hair. That was definitely scraped in there. I didn't draw this logo. I would probably have done it just a little bit differently, but you know what? That still is a pretty cool looking logo, isn't it? There we go. All right. I'm just going to remove the stuff in that A for Hall. And let's copy it over again and try again. There we go. Edit. Copy merged. Let's go ahead and delete this layer. Make a new layer under logos. And edit. Paste. That's a little better. Okay. So, with this in mind now, let's go ahead and copy it three times. Two and three. Now I can take it and drag it. Okay, just just so I know where it's going to be. Now, obviously, this is way too huge, so we'll grab the first one and size it down. 
hold down shift to keep it in proportion. And then remember, this guy is behind these two guys, so not only am I going to shrink it down even more, oops, messed up, enter, undo. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller than the other one, and then I'm going to hide it behind his shoulder here in a few seconds, because it'll probably only be about at least that visible behind his shoulder. So let me just go ahead and do that now. Yes, we'll apply the transform. And let's zoom in here on this logo. And grab my eraser tool and start chopping away at this. Make my eraser just a bit bigger. And I only want to come up to the end of this line. So let's get a little bit more detailed now. Um, I have intentions of making a video for you guys showing you how to set up your Wacom Cintiq. If you have a Wacom Cintiq or if you have a Intuos uh, that also runs off the same program. So um, I'd be glad to show that to you guys. I just haven't had the time. To, I've just been really busy. So as you can see, it's just barely anything back there. But attention to detail is key when it comes to making a client happy. Okay. Let's go ahead and shrink him down. And he's about the same size as this one, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to keep it just a tad bit bigger because his shirt may be a little bit larger size, even though that wouldn't matter, but I think it just kind of helps that out a little bit. Okay, so now that that's done, that's only part of what I wanted to do. I want to warp this a little bit and kind of make it look like it's actually sitting on their clothes. So going into Edit, Transform, you have all these options here. Scale, Rotate, Skew, Distort, Perspective, and Warp. I like Distort and Warp the most. Um, perspective um, it is going to control it like this, and it works great. You can do that sort of stuff if you want to get the proper perspective on things. Now the thing is, though, is I like being a bit more in control of my work. So I like to personally eyeball it with distort. So as you can see, the system kind of chose what angle to put it at for me, because when I'd click here, it would adjust this side. Now doing this, I can just take this and drag it and distort it however I want on my own. I personally like that feature better. So let's go ahead and undo that. Edit, transform, distort. Now his body is facing in this direction here. Whoops, which one am I distorting? I'm distorting the wrong one. So we'll hit enter to finalize it. There, edit, transform, distort. Okay, so his body is facing this way to the left. To the left, to the left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just change this a little bit and make it a little smaller on one side just so it kinda angles that direction, just a little bit. I mean, it barely needs anything. And like I said, attention to detail is key, okay? So over here, we'll do this again. Transform, warp, well not warp, excuse me. Transform, distort. And I'm just gonna make the side coming toward us just a bit bigger, and the side going away from us a bit smaller. There we go. So that looks a lot more like it's sitting on their shirts a lot better. Just lower that down a little bit. And maybe bring it in a little bit more this way. There we go. So there you go, guys. That's attention to detail for you. You always need attention to detail in art. Make sure you check out my website, timmichaelarts.com, for my web comics and my new No Clue the Animatic series. It's going to take a while to get that out. I'm probably going to set up a new schedule for when that will come out. It may come out every two weeks. It may come out every three weeks. It is a very long process to do even storyboard animation, and um, you got to bear with me, but uh, hopefully I'll have you guys some neat stuff. When you can't see that, go check out my normal comic, Saints Alive, and that is on my main page on my website. Also, just make sure to check out all those things uh, right below. Scroll down underneath the comic, and you'll see a bunch of other pages, my t-shirts, my caricatures, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So make sure you check that out as well, okay? Well, I think that's it, guys. God bless you all. I love you all very much. More tutorials coming soon. Thank you so much for your patience. We had a mini... Um, 
tropical depression come through that knocked off my power for two days, so now I'm trying to catch up with myself. This is a piece I need to try and have done tonight, which means hopefully I can show you guys a couple more tutorials on how to paint faces. How about that, huh? <laughs> Alright, that was weird. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Toodaloo. <laughs> you have a good day now, you hear? Bye-bye. <laughs>